Hello, I'm out here in the shop just tinkering around. I've got the rubber runner boards there cut for the saw. I'm going to put the motor behind it. It's not going to be too far out of the way. We found a used serpentine belt that will work pretty good for this. I just got to make a pulley so as soon as the weather breaks I'm going to be out there casting. I'm just dumping some aluminum into some soup cans to get pulleys blanks. But I figured I'd work on the steam engine a little bit. Got the lathe all a mess, so why not? Let's get started. Forgot to engage the counter shaft. He's using it out of gear to center this up. done. I got a nice groove in here in the center. Let's see if I can turn the light on here to see if it helps. Yeah, you can see the groove in the center there. The step. So that it'll hold the connecting rod. Now I just gotta split it and yeah. Okay, I'll take it out and see what is left to do.
left is just to tap it. Okay, I took the front cover off here and was using the piston rod and everything to adjust the height. I put the jam nut, I got it to the right setting and stuff there, and took the jam nut tightened up against that piece. When I turn it, it cams it up or down so I can adjust for play. Now it's there's nothing, but it. Right back to the back, and right there is hitting the front. So I got a little bit of room there I could play with but I think it'll be okay. I got the bearing caps already done there. I gotta make some bearings, or some bushings for it. There's like one inch bronze bushings, which I got two, which will go into one of the bearing caps. I just gotta make it for the other side. I made a boring bar out of a bolt and some other stuff. Let's see if I can find it here. Okay, found it. It's just this thing here. I drilled and center punched a hole in the end just with the drill press. The bolt was slightly bent, so it's yeah. It's a grade eight bolt, but I just drilled a hole straight through it here and then used the diamond file to make it a square file so that the bit would slide through it and then I took the angle grinder and slid it all the way back about half inch before the bit and then drilled clearance hole and countersunk it and then tapped it through for 630 seconds that's my tiny little boring bar I used works pretty good I took probably eighth inch off in one pass and it had no flex at all. So, yeah. Uh, I was also messing with the 3D printer lately. We changed tool post coming up. I got a piece of steel ready for it, but I need to get that running to cut the steel. It's too thick for the angle grinder to cut through. So, that's coming, and then it'll be machined up, 
the dovetail stuff we've done on the shaper. And this is the tool holder from Mr. Pete's video. Uh, it was on Thingiverse and I just saw it was an AXA tool post. So I used it as a gauge to test the dimensions that I had. It's a little tight because it's 3D printed, but it works. I was just playing around with the stuff, but... And it really looks pink in here, but it's not. It's It really does look pink in here. And I was playing with this, which is a weird diametrical pitch, but it matches, if you remember, these old things. Yeah, just trying to convert threads per inch to diametrical pitch. And see how it figures out. That way I can create worm gears that'll mesh with a 16 diametrical pitch, which my lathe uses. Um, I got a bunch of books and stuff because that one site has had a sale, but these are awesome books. As you can see, I was marking out projects and my books are starting to look like a peacock. <laughs> um, I started on the hydraulic press also. It's not very far along. I got a, a 12 ton here. And got a lot of the parts for that. It's a mess right now. I got to clean up. And yes, I got bushings made for this. I made those out of the bearing bronze. I just didn't feel like turning the camera on or getting it out to deal with the stuff. The table is going to be made of angle iron. I got this, which is 3 eighths of an inch thick. I'll clean this up really well and weld a, weld it with a tube in the center, which is what I was going to do, but unfortunately I think it's not going to work out because the tube's too big. I'm out of C-channel anyways. I'm just using what I had. But instead of C-channel, I'm going to weld a plate over it like this also so it adds plate over so it'll never flex or hopefully it'll never flex I figured I'd show an update so yep thanks for watching see ya